Welcome back, everyone, to another reaction video. Well, uh, every so often, Mr. Terry and I talk to each other, and we certainly follow what one another's up to, and we've got a couple of collaborations in the works that you're going to see probably after he gets done with school for the year and I get back from France here in the next couple of weeks. So be watching for that. The collab of all collabs, the two biggest history reaction channels there are, we're going to be joining forces to do a couple of things together. And I saw that a few days, maybe a week ago or so, he did this video uh, on Family Guy roasting all 50 states. I thought it might be fun, might be a little different. Got my Ohio shirt on. You know I got to represent, so take a drink. It's in the drinking game. Let's go ahead and dive into this one. I put a link in the description. Uh, it's somebody just put together a compilation, so obviously they're not the original content creator. But if you want to be able to watch this without my commentary, that's where you'll be able to do it. And he, if you haven't already checked out Mr. Terry, check him out. Let's dive in. Hey, Brian, check it out. Peter, you painted Alabama. over the back window. Isn't that dangerous? I'm a redneck, Brian. We like people driving behind us to know what our beliefs are. Alaska. <laughs> and it's not just rednecks, because people do that all over the place. <laughs> but it, obviously, most of the satire that's going to center around the South is probably going to have to do with hillbillies, rednecks, all that stuff. And as an honorary hillbilly, my family tree runs through eastern Kentucky. I approve. But that's so far away. And the summers are so short. Yay! Summer's here! Awesome! Best summer ever! Let's stay friends! I lost my virginity! Yeah, right. To who? You don't know her. I met her at camp! <laughs> so, my brother lives in Anchorage, and uh, I went to... The only one and only time I've been to Alaska, it was January. So, um, Anchorage is beautiful. It's really no different than the rest of the United States. In the summer, they've got pretty nice weather, but they have moose and things like that, and beautiful mountains. It's a gorgeous state. Uh, but then I was in Bethel, which is on the West Coast. It's the part Sarah Palin could see Alaska from. Uh, not really. but uh, And the sun came up, I think, at 9.30. And by 1 o'clock in the afternoon, it was gone. Uh, I don't know if I could live like that. Arizona, my mom lives there in Tucson. Total opposite of Alaska. Soon, Meg. Soon. But first, I must inhale. So, here's what I'll say about Arizona. Everybody talks about, well, it's a dry heat because they don't have humidity. And that's true to a point. If you're in, say, Washington, D.C. in the summer, it's stupid humid. Like, I mean, it, you can taste the humidity. It's so humid. Like, I can't even describe to you how hot it feels. So, when it's... 85 in Washington, D.C. on a really humid day. That's about what 105 feels like in the shade in Arizona. It's probably pretty comparable. But when you're in the sun in Arizona, it's, it's ridiculously hot. And I don't care whether there's humidity or not, it's hot. When it gets to like, I think the hottest I ever felt in Arizona was like 112, 113. And if you were in the shade, you could stay outside for a while. But if you were in the sun, you couldn't stand it. Knitted on my CB, said her name was Mimi. Sounded Back to the like South. an angel come to earth. earth. When I went to meet her, man, you should have seen her. Twice as tall as me, three times the girl. Earth. I've been to Arkansas a couple times, Little Rock and the area around Little Rock. I've been to Camden, Arkansas. I really enjoyed Arkansas. I, I loved my time there. I love the people I've met there. Very friendly. Uh, definitely strong accent, but I haven't been to some of the more rural parts of Arkansas. Oh, we're on to California now. Oh, wait. Where is it? Hold on. i got to find it. One second. All right. Here it is. So I haven't done my next opening yet of uh, things that people have been sending to me but if you saw my recent videos where you can see my background you saw I have an Ohio flag hanging up well the same person who sent me the Ohio flag sent me two other flags and one of them was a California Republic that bear flag Republic California sign or er, flag Oh, that 
So here's what I'll say about California. Uh, it's impossible to like judge the state because it's so big and it's got so many people. It's so different from one place to another. I've been, uh, spent a week in LA, the LA area was Pomona is where I was. And the traffic is everything people say it is. And I don't really ever have any desire to ever go back to LA again, ever in my life. I also flew into Reno, Nevada, where I was speaking uh, for a week in a town called Winnemucca in northern Nevada, but I had some time to stop over around the Lake Tahoe area, around where the Donner Party was, and that is one of the most beautiful places I have ever seen in my life. Uh, so northern California, at least the part I was in, amazing. Dining room table is an antique. It's been in my family for six generations. It's fine. Okay, now since we're white guys doing something stupid, everybody grab a GoPro. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> Colorado is one of my favorite states. The altitude takes a little getting used to, but I, I get to go there a couple times a year for Rachel's Challenge and non-COVID times anyway. And uh, I've probably been there a dozen times and have loved it every time. This is awesome. Up, oh, we're drifting. We're, we're turning. We're turning. Yeah, That's what happens when you sled ride. Backwards. Am I the only one who thinks that now we're at an alarming speed? <laughs> oh. Totally have done that. Not on a table. Phew. Well, that's enough fun for one day. I'm sweating more than a non-legacy applying to Yale. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about people in Connecticut being stuck up. And I'll say this. I haven't spent a ton of time in Connecticut, but I did walk around um, the campus at, uh, at Yale University. And uh, the whole time, all I could smell was weed. <laughs> Just... Only other place I've been that I've smelled it everywhere was Denver. But you'll have to pack your chalk because you're going to be staying six days and seven nights at your parents' house in Wilmington, Delaware. I moved my abortion for this. Wow. <laughs> I haven't spent a lot of time in Delaware, but I know it's very small. Florida. I think. Space shuttle. I think we're launching. Oh my god, everyone strap yourselves in. Stewie, hold my hand. No, thank you. I prefer to die giving you the finger. If this is what it takes to get out of Florida, fine. <laughs> now, normally what people make that joke about is because Ohio's had a lot of astronauts, you know, Neil Armstrong, John Glenn, Jim Lovell, people like that. We've had the Wright brothers. Uh, so the joke is usually, why? what is it about Ohio that makes people want to get off the planet so much? That kind of thing. But here's what I'll say about Florida. And again, Florida is one of those states that's so different from one place to the next. Um, Miami can get stupid hot uh, in the Everglades, stuff like that. Uh, I hate driving in Orlando, but I can't really blame Floridians for that because I think Orlando is by and large mostly tourists anytime you go there. So He and Chris go together. Like peaches and cream. Peaches. Peaches, I'm sorry. Damn it! You could have at least given me some warning, at least a, a shoulder tap. I know, you're right. It's just that you're so beautiful, I can't control myself sometimes. Aw, I can't stay mad at you. How about a guess? <laughs> no. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm not even going to comment on that one. We'll just move on. Okay, before you do anything else, I'm deathly allergic to pineapple, pork, rum, macadamia nuts, stupid tiny guitars, overpriced golf, sentimental military stuff, lava, people who I can't tell are black or Asian, apostrophes, anyone twirling flames, second weddings, and linen pants. Is there any anything you're not allergic to? Yeah, the Epcot Center, where I... <laughs> so everything he just described are things that are reminiscent of Hawaii. We, my wife and I did our honeymoon in Hawaii. It's the only time I've been there. We did not get a lei placed around our necks when we got there. I'm just saying. Uh, but we spent six nights on Kauai, which is beautiful and very kind of quiet and not busy or commercial. They film a lot of movies there, like Jurassic Park, stuff like that. Uh, Honolulu, completely different story. Pearl Harbor, things like that. I wanted to go. Ooh, Mrs. Potato Head here. Any Irish actors around who might be interested in me? You're damn right, darling. Colin Farrell? What are you doing here? Shoo! Shoo! Get away! Oh, you're a feisty potato. So, when people talk about Idaho, they think of Idaho potatoes. I haven't spent a ton of time in Idaho, but the part I was in, Coeur d'Alene, was beautiful. 
Illinois. Ooh, Steve, it's coming right at us. Grab it. I don't want to get in the way. It's a foul ball. What harm can it do? Off the floor. <laughs> off the I can't remember when it happened, but there was an incident during one of the playoffs or World Series or something where a fan reached in, and it's happened a few times over the years, and grabbed a ball that was in play and screwed up the chances for them to get out of the inning by catching the ball. Uh, but I'm a little salty when it comes to the Cubs because the one time that uh, a couple times in my life, my Indians, now Guardians, have come really close to winning the World Series, and they had a 3-1 lead in the World Series on the Cubs and lost. Board off the backboard, no rim. Larry Bird. He's right from near Indiana. the basket, underhanded, effeminate gasp, over the backboard, out of bounds, waddle over to get it, slip on a towel, twist my ankle, go to the emergency room. Doctors tell me it's not that bad and I shouldn't have come there. I make them give me a cast anyway, never play sports again. So Larry Bird's from Indiana, very famously played for the Celtics and had this series of commercials. I think they were for McDonald's that him and Michael Jordan did where they did these ridiculous trick shots. Hey, I won the $2 sandwich. Iowa. Nice flag, Iowa, by the way. Oh, God, what I wouldn't do to that. And you were the... I can't blame him for that. Corn on the cob with butter and salt on it is so good. It's like whenever it's corn harvesting season and you can get fresh corn, there's... Oh, it's just amazing. Yeah, and you were there, and you were a Wizard cowardly of lion, and... What about me, Miss Dorothy? Was I there? No, no, you weren't. But you were a tin man, and... Why, Miss Dorothy, I've worked on this farm for 22 years. You see me every day of your life. You sure I wasn't there as a friendly dragon or a talking tree? Or... What can I tell you, Eddie? You weren't there. We're 90%. Wizard of Oz came out in 1939. Uh, I, I don't know if they still do it, but I can remember as a kid, every year, once a year, they would air The Wizard of Oz on TV, and we would always watch it. It was like this big thing. Um... But if you didn't already know, The Wizard of Oz, which was originally a book written by L. Frank Baum, um, an allegory of politics in the 1890s. The Wizard is uh, William McKinley, I believe. The Yellow Brick Road is the gold standard. Dorothy's shoes, which in the book were not ruby slippers, they were silver represented the silver standard. That was a big debate that was going on. The lion, the tin man, they all represented people. Percent of the audience roots for the horse with the cutest Kentucky. name. And they're off. It's Battleaxe, followed by Redbeard, followed by Bishop, followed by Smiling Pink Bear. Oh my God, that's my horse. And on the outside, here comes Tiny Kitten Kisses. No, no, that one. And here comes It's Bedtime. Oh, I do not like him. <laughs> Kentucky Derby. I guess there's worse hey, things they could have said about Kentucky. Hey, Trying to get some sleep up here. Show us your boobs. My boobs? I, I don't think I... Oh, my jewelry. I wonder what I'll get for showing this. The rules of this city are very unclear. <laughs> so, Mardi Gras, Fat Tuesday. It's a big deal down in New Orleans, and it's this thing that girls flash everyone and they somebody throws them beads it's stupid Maine lobster steals your credit card gets boiled package for Peter Griffin huh, I didn't order anything I, I mean I could have if I wanted to I have a credit card all right a lot of cool people on this route You're hurting him. No, that's just air escaping. They can't feel anything. <laughs> Lobsters have to be cooked alive. I think it has something to do with um, how they cook. Allows, like, if you if they die first, I don't know the details. They're not healthy to eat. Something like that. How you doing? Come on in. No, 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 no. Just go around it. He's not gonna hurt you. Just go around it. No, 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 no. All right, I tried just going under him. I think we should probably just go home. Maybe we'll do it another time. No, 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 no. The spirit of Massachusetts is the spirit of America. The spirit of what's old and what's new. The spirit of Massachusetts is the spirit of America. The spirit of the red, white, and blue. 
Okay, Brian, Carter's in the shower. As soon as he comes out, we spray this right in his eyes. What'd you put in there again? It was just tap water from Flint, Michigan. Okay, okay. <laughs> so, it's really not funny. Um, there was a really serious issue with the, the water supply in Flint, Michigan for a long time. I don't even know where that's at right now, if it's been dealt with. Just one of those infrastructure issues. And as much as I would love to hate on Michigan, I'm not going to make fun of that issue. Me, Chris. Prince. He's from Minnesota. May, no, don't do it. Don't go to Prince. Come to the purple light, May. Come taste infinity. Don't listen to him, Meg. But he's so talented, and he's got so many drugs. Hey, hey, folding some. I never got the love for Prince. I just never really got into him. I know a lot of people are, and and that's probably true for me with other artists too. Like. I recognize the talent of the Beatles and the reach that they had, but I just never was really a fan of their music. Just not my style, I guess. In my blood, ever since my great-grandfather, Huck Griffin, rafted down the mighty Mississippi. What did you just call me? I, I, I thought that was your name. That is our word. You've got no right using it. Hey, 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 I'm cool. I'm cool. No problem. Let's just comment on the fact that Mississippi really upgraded their flag. They got rid of their old flag. Like a lot of former Confederate states, they had like elements of the Confederacy in their flag. And the new one's really, really nice. Cool, no problem. Do I, do, do I have to? Really loud neighbor. You want to be a star, don't you? Then take it off. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's nice. Let's face it. Your kids are going to get into your guns. That's a fact. Gun accidents can be avoided by introducing your children to guns as early as possible. Hi, I'm Petey the Pistol. Say, do you ever get lonely? Yes. Me too. Hold me. If you squeeze me, I make bad people go away. Yes, I thought thoroughly... So, I'll say this about my first time in Montana. I was driving to this little town called Drummond, Montana. And, uh... I kept passing signs, billboards, for the Mountain Oyster Festival that was coming up. And I thought, hmm, I wonder where mountain oysters are. Well, then I found out, and I was traumatized for life. It's a festival where they eat mountain oysters. You can look it up for yourself, or I'm sure someone will leave a comment and tell you what they are. <sighs> I really enjoyed my trip to Nebraska. So, um... Anybody see any good movies lately? Yeah, no, not really, yeah. no. Oh. You read any good books? No. Mm -mm. no. Nope. Oh. Anything new with corn? Oh, yeah, corn. Corn, corn. Oh, yeah, corn. You bet. Corn, corn. 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 Yeah, 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 corn. corn is always interesting. <laughs> yeah. My favorite fun fact to tell people when I fly into Nebraska, when you fly into Omaha, you have to drive through Iowa to leave the airport which I always thought was interesting. Just the, the, the Mississippi River changes. Uh, you know, it, it changes direction. It, it moves different places. And so now there's these little parts of Iowa that are on the Nebraska side of the Mississippi River, and it gets really kind of complicated. All right, we're on to Vegas. Oh, my God, Stewie, it, it worked. We're in Vegas. Yeah, all right. Well, let's hit the hospital, get checked for teleportation cancer, and then party. So, I've only been to Vegas once. I'm not a casino person. I don't gamble. Um, but it was fun. There was a lot to see and do. If you've ever been to New York City and you're in Times Square at midnight and it's super bright and very like alive and a lot going on. That's how Vegas feels on the strip. Like even in the middle of the night, the lights are on and the city's very alive. New Hampshire. <sighs> the public library. I'm just gonna put my backpack down for one second and it's gone. My laptop was in there, no password, my wallet, everything. That person is now me. My entire life went away. This is Atlanta. I don't know, is there something I'm missing about New Hampshire being known for theft or something? I've only been to New Hampshire a couple of times and I always really enjoyed it. Panic City all over again. You've got 20. Hit me. Peter, don't. Hit me. 21. Hit me. Peter. Hit me. That's 30. Hit me. Atlantic City. 
The only thing I don't like about New Jersey is you can't pump your own gas. New Mexico is beautiful. Love it there. <laughs> Breaking bad. Please. Don't. Why won't you die? Hey, family guy. So, if you haven't seen Breaking Bad, it, it lives up to the hype. It's some of the best acting, some of the best writing and directing you will ever see in a TV series. It's so, so good. Really, really good stuff. Hey, you're lucky I got a man of gut in the oven, or I'd bash your face into a bowl of nades. That's two kinds of food. That's how angry I am. So, how's your boyfriend Orville doing? Ex-boyfriend, if you don't mind. And who cares? He's probably off in a barn somewhere working on a contraption with that weird brother of his. Ew. Ha-ha, <laughs> 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 bitch! The Wright Brothers. First flight was in Kitty Hawk, North Carolina in 1903. Um, I'll say this about North Carolina. North Carolina is one of the popular destinations for people from Northeast Ohio to either vacation or to end up living. A lot of my former classmates live in North Carolina. They've got mountains in the west. You've got the ocean in the east. You've got pretty good weather. Not crazy hot, but also pretty nice most of the year. Uh, it's a very popular spot. You're so pretty. I miss you. Hi. Do you like South Dakota but don't want to see Mount Rushmore? Come to North Dakota. It's just a very long drive from wherever you live. Best of all, most of the good license plates aren't taken yet. Imagine coming here and having cool dude, or yay Jews, or boo Jews, depending on where you stand on Jews. North Dakota, we're not even the best Dakota. There has been talk of joining the two states together and forming one state as Dakota. I don't think it'll happen. Ohio, here we go. Look at Edison over there with his damn electricity. Hey, Edison, how about sharing some of those light bulbs, huh? Hey, figure it out for yourself, man. We're freezing our asses off over here. Uh, hey, man, how do you think I feel? You know, you, you get to look at my great house. I gotta look at that dark thing. Huh? Uh, what, what is that, a candle over there? Oh, that's pretty sweet. Yeah, yeah it's a candle. We're, we're freezing over here. Uh, we have none of them, no one of my family's taking a bath in a month. We stink. It stinks hey, over man. here, you jerk. I can't hear you over my central. Hey, what do you go to hell, Edison? <laughs> So Edison, uh, like the Wright brothers, did not do his big inventions in Ohio. He did them in Menlo Park, New Jersey. Um, but yeah, he's from Northwest Ohio, kind of North Central, Northwest Ohio. Um, but he's just one of many great Ohioans that we're proud of here. Oklahoma tornadoes. Wonderful state, by the way. And it's coming this way. We gotta run. Well, hang on, guys. It might just be the Tasmanian devil. Come on, into the storm cellar. Ollie? There's... Now, I want to make a joke here about the fact that he just stood there nonchalantly about the tornado because uh, I, I lived for almost a year in southern Indiana. And when I first moved there, I remember asking somebody, do they consider this part of Indiana to be part of Tornado Alley? Tornado Alley is this area where they get a lot of tornadoes. And I lived through one of the most powerful tornadoes that have ever hit the, the country. Uh, we had a huge outbreak of tornadoes on May 31st, 1985. Uh, and the further, the easternmost F5 tornado in history hit right here. Uh, and it went like right through my town. And I'll never forget that night. It was the strangest sky I've ever seen. It was the last day of school that year. And they had given out free passes to the Niles skating rink uh, to all the school students. And I was going to go to the skating rink that night. Uh, and the tornado hit late afternoon. Uh, I want to say it was like 5-ish, 5 or 6. Uh, and it was like an hour or two before I was set to go to the skating rink. And the, and the skating rink was flattened by this tornado. Uh, so could have killed a lot of people, including myself, if it had hit a couple hours later. Uh, but um, anyway, I lived in southern Indiana, and I asked about that, and they said, yeah, I guess we kind of are. And, and my first two weeks that I lived in southern Indiana, we had three tornado warnings. The first time I went into the storm cellar, the second time the, the siren went off in town, I looked outside, and everybody was standing in the middle of the street looking for the tornado because they're just so used to it. 
Rain and sideways. Sounds rough, Ollie. Do you have an umbrella? Oregon. Had Rain. One. Where is it? Inside out, two miles away. Is there anything we can do for you? Bring me some soup. What kind? Chunky. Pennsylvania. The Amish. They'll rebuild it. Amish, a lot of Amish people in Lancaster County, Pennsylvania, and they are known for how they'll bring the whole community together, which I know we make fun of that, but it's an amazing feat that the whole community comes together to help a family build a barn or build a house. And it, 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 there's something special about that that I think we've kind of lost. Rhode Island. I think family got set in Rhode Island, isn't it? Pawtucket Patriot, the perfect beer for New England beaches. What's oh, your name? Toby with an I, with an accent over the I, and a little line over the O, so you know it's a long vowel sound and not a short one. And sometimes I like to dot the I with a little smiley face or a heart or something. Something to brighten the reader's day. I asked you what your name was. Honey, you keep that up. It's whatever you want it to be. It's a perfect scam, like Teddy Roosevelt getting to be on Mount Rushmore. I won the Revolutionary War. I won the Civil War. I gained possession of Guam. Thanks for the ride, cons <laughs> Teddy Roosevelt, I think, is on, the, on Mount Rushmore, because number one, he's considered one of our great presidents. He's right up there with those other three, Jefferson, Washington, and Lincoln. But he also did a ton for the preservation of uh, landmarks, national parks, things like that. Swayla, and thanks for taking us on that little detour to Dollywood. Was I right or was I right? Yep, totally worth the extra two days. Hey, guys, thanks. So <laughs> Dollywood's in eastern uh, Tennessee in the Smoky Mountains and another real popular vacation destination for people here in northeast Ohio, I know, is the Smoky Mountains, nine, ten hours away. A beautiful place. Really is worth your time. So much for inviting me out today. I'm psyched to brand my first cow. Here you are, Peter. All fired up and ready to go. Cow's gonna kick him. Don't oh! stand behind it. Oh yes, yes. Oh, oh, hang on a second. Tina, what? Why did that happen that way? Oh, okay. Let's move on all these women doing in our living room? Well, I wish I took your advice and picked a new religion. I'm gonna be a Mormon. A Mormon? Are you sure? Come on, nailing a different wife every night, that's a no-brainer. Oh, Midge, you're my third best friend in the whole... I believe that the Mormon church has, the, the LDS church, the Latter-day Saints, uh, the main branch, has outlawed polygamy since, like, the 1890s or something. World. Third? Who are the first two? Ben and Jerry. <laughs> Ben and Jerry's is from Vermont. Robert E. Lee, I knew I'd find you here where they seat the sorry ass losers. <laughs> Ulysses S. Grant, you invite me to lunch, then show up an hour late, drunk? I was busy looking for your wife to give her the old. <laughs> Sir, this means war. I am vanquished. I hereby declare victory in the name of the Confederacy. Excuse me, can I please have another no-foam latte? Uh, yeah, sure, but you know I don't work here. Oh, I'm Starbucks is from Washington originally. Sorry, you look just like one of the baristas. He doesn't look that much like me. I think she meant me. Oh. Wow. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I can see that. Heritage, Washington, D.C. The seat of government for the world's former most powerful nation. Wow, those are all the monuments I read about in school. There's the Washington Monument. There's the Obama monument. Meg, come here. Have a seat. Dad, what are you doing? Meg, I'm a redneck, which means I am about to do something to you that you will not remember until you're 40. <laughs> Meg, come back here. I meant sex. Oh, come on, Joe. You I haven't even finished one. I mean, that guy had two. I know, I know, I'm terrible. Which is why I'm gonna order the cheesecake. <laughs> you know what 
I am back at the ranch, I'm a breeding bull. What? 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 what what's that? You gonna find out? <gasps> okay. <laughs> I don't even know what to say about those last few. I loved my time in Wyoming as well. It's a beautiful state. There's not a lot to see, but some to see. So, all right, that was fun. Let me know your thoughts. Use the comment section below, and we'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching.